Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I'm going to be making a video for you guys on some basic color correction that you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to start off my project by naming it Color Correction and I'm going to open some clips that I want to color correct. Okay, so I've opened multiple clips that I want to use for examples for you guys, so I'm going to put this first clip in of just the beach. Uh, so in Adobe, you have these panels or tabs up here. It says assembly, editing, color, effects, audio titles, and libraries. Go ahead and click on the color option there. And then on the right, it'll pop up with Lumetri Color, and you have all of these options. So I'm going to start with the first tab. You have tones, and I normally bump up the exposure quite a bit, and also the contrast. The contrast just adds a really nice color to it and then to the highlights it really depends on the video sometimes I want it brighter sometimes I don't I feel like that brightens up the ocean a little too much I'm gonna bring it down just like that and then for shadows it really depends on what you're looking for in the mood of the clip um, and everything like that so see at the bottom where the bench is and the plants and if I'm bringing the shadows down it kinda gets dark and not really a pretty color but if I bring it up just a little it kind of gets faded out so I'm just gonna keep it right about in the middle as far as the whites go it's really white in this clip and it really washes out the ocean if I put the whites up too much so try if you have too much white in your video clips not to bump up the whites too much or else it'll just be too much for the eyes it won't be that appealing and for the blacks uh, honestly it depends on the lighting in your clip and how you're gonna change the blacks I like to bump it up or put it down probably right there um, it all depends on the clip and then as far as saturation goes I normally don't touch that because I go to creative and all the other tabs where they have different options for colors um, I might go to saturation at the end if I need it uh, it always has these filters for your video um, that they have built in so I mean Maybe I like that, but not for now. So I'm going to put it back to none. You could always look through those after you make the adjustments you want. Uh, depending on what clips I have, uh, I might want to add the faded film option. This is, a lot of people use this. It just adds a fade to your video clips. But at the same time, I'm not a big fan of it because it makes it also look really gray, which I don't really like. Personally, um, I sharpen it normally a little because you know I like my videos to be sharp, but if it gets too sharp, it just looks really weird. So I'll just sharpen it to right about there. And then the vibrance, as far as that goes, sometimes it, you know, if you have oranges or you have some weird tones in your video clips, if you make it more vibrant, it'll look really orangey like so. So I'm just going to bump that up a little because a lot of people like saturation. And then for saturation, I'm going to, honest, I'm just going to keep that right there. So, for curves, honestly, I have not memorized where to put points or what point does what I kind of just move them around so this looks like it does more shadow work so I'm gonna keep it right there this looks I don't even know what that's doing that's like brightening brightening maybe highlighting so I'm just gonna keep that right there and this is whitening it a lot I kind of like that look where it's kind of shining from the corner right here and then if you go to the very edge of the curves right here you can actually drag this point up if it's gonna work and you can add fade if you want to do that um, there's color wheels too if you want to use that uh, there's HSL and there's vig vignette. vignette I can never say it right okay so you could change the amount of a I'm just gonna call it V <laughs> you can make it black or you can make it a white um, I'm going to go all the way here. You could change the midpoint, so I'm going to go right there. And then the roundness, so how much it goes into your video. And feather that. Just like that. So I think that's a very beautiful clip. 
Um, I really like it, so then I'm going to go back to editing and put another clip in. So I think I did a pretty good job on that. I might actually want to go back to color and go to creative to change the faded film. Maybe add a little bit of fade like that. Okay, now I'll go back to editing and open another clip. I'm going to put this one in. It is from Tahoe. Uh, this is actually from a few years ago, so I look very weird. Anyways, I'm going to go back to the color tab and go to basic correction, start at the top, and work my way down. So I'm going to bump up the exposure, and I'm just going to put this to music so you guys can kind of just watch what I'm doing. Okay, so to change the color in this clip, I'm just going to go, you know, to the color option again and work my way from the bottom. So I think exposure is one of the most important things because it can really change the look and especially if it's darker, if your video clip has darker features, it's a great thing to do for your video. Contrast, I feel like it also adds a lot of different perspective. I don't know, it just adds more darker tones. And I feel like it evens everything out a little bit more. And then if you add highlights, you really want to be aware of highlights because highlights and even exposure and shadows can take away a lot of color, can take away a lot of detail. So you want to be very careful with that. And so, yeah, I think I think I kind of like that darker look if I put the shadows down. And maybe if I move the whites up a little to brighten up the clouds, that looks pretty nice. Saturation, I'm going to do that. For this clip, I think I like a lot of saturation. Um, and then for creative, I think I'm going to want faded film on this, but I might want to go to curves for that. Add a little bit of a faded look. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more color correction videos or if you want anything, please leave it down below. I really love suggestions. It's like my favorite thing of all time. And thank you so much for 1,200 subscribers. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.